Despiértanse. Si están durmiendo, des despiértanse. Si están descansando, camínense. Ya es hora de amanecer. Se termina la obra. Que se levanten. Que se levanten todos. Ni uno ni los grupos queda atrás de los demás. Continuamos nuestro camino y veremos de nuevo la ciudad donde hemos venido. En la ciudad de mis ancestros, donde se consagraron, donde recogieron visiones, donde recogieron poderes los hombres sabios visionarios, los mayas eternos. La tierra es nuestra madre, en su vientre corren los ríos, es son las venas, es donde recogemos nosotros la vida, que el agua es la sangre de nosotros, así es nuestra madre tierra, la tierra está vivo. Extreme magnetic fields is like an explosion on the surface of the sun, and it's 10 to the 25 joules worth of energy. That's a hundred million times more energy than the largest nuclear device that man has ever made. Billions of tons of solar material fired off into space, electrically charged, magnetically polarized, aimed directly at us. These things are to the size of, well, they're 100,000 miles across. They're, they're a third the size of the sun. So it's like accelerating the whole Mississippi River and making it move at a million miles an hour toward the Earth. Scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Center observe the solar flare. But the CME is moving faster than anticipated. 90 seconds after citizens first see the northern lights, most of the continent goes dark. The magnetic storm sends ultra-high voltage through power lines across North America. It creates a really strong magnetic field that induces another current and so on, and the current gets so strong it melts the wire, and then you've got a lot of energy being released, it explodes the transformer. All electricity disappears. So do communications, as satellites are burnt out. There are no phones, no television, no radio, no internet.
The change in the Earth's seismic activity coincides with the rise of activity on the Sun. Scientists have been witnessing gigantic bursts of plasma on its surface and say they are affecting our planet, even though it's over 19 million miles away. Each burst sends billions of particles into space, which impacts the Earth's magnetic field. This may trigger some of the processes going on deep below its surface, leading to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Scientists predict solar activity will only increase and say in the next few years large-scale disruptions of electronic equipment, radio transmissions, computer failures and massive blackouts could become part of everyday life. The shifting of the poles of the, of the axis, however it is to take place, uh, it is about, it is this world that the Maya wish to speak to you about, for they know it well. They remember their past, and they remember both of these pole shifts that, that science has recorded in recent times. According to the Maya, they lived through both of them, and they have been on Earth for at least 26,000 years. Science, science cannot contradict that because they don't know where they came from and they don't know anything about them. But according to Don Alejandro, in the last pole shift, millions of people died simply because they didn't understand what was happening. If they only knew and understood the situation, they could have easily transformed their experience into something of strength and grace and beauty. But Don, Don Alejandro says that if they don't understand what is occurring, and enter into fear, they can easily die. And so, he wants to talk to you about this. Don Alejandro also speaks about 30 hours of darkness that happens at this moment when the poles shift. There are some people out there, I, I'm aware, that speak about three days of darkness. 
The Mayans say no, it's not three days, it's 30 hours. He says that, Don Alejandro says, that everything goes black and one cannot even see the stars at night. Or in other words, we go blind. He says it is during this period that so many people died because of fear that entered into their experience. But he also says that if one were to not worry and simply stay still and just relax, everything returns back, your sight comes back, everything returns to normal, and it only takes 30 hours. So this is another thing that the Mayan people want you to understand is, is during this change, don't go into fear, it's nothing to be afraid of. But of course, after the pole shift, where you are located on the, surf of the surface of the Earth is now probably completely different relative to the equator than before the shift began. You are now probably living in a new and different environment located on the Earth. And this, this must immediately be evaluated. You've got to figure out where you are or you could die just from extreme cold or extreme heat. This is another thing he wanted you to know. Now one piece of the Mayan prophecy that has been told, which the world calls doomsday, but there is something far more important. How do we understand how to be during a physical pole shift and directly afterwards? For the Maya, it is the vibration that comes from within your heart. And this vibration is in, is in perfect resonance to the heart of the earth, the heart of the sun, and the heart of the universe. If we learn to live within this vibration, the living earth will make certain that we extend ourselves into the new world. If we learn to live within this vibration, the living earth will make certain that we extend ourselves into the new world. And so for you who are watching this, understand that you have made it. Uh, you are going to go to another level of consciousness beyond your wildest dreams. It will happen. And, uh, and I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for having trust in yourself and believing in yourself and having the courage to continue in spiritual work. Uh, even though against all odds, I know your families have probably tried to stop you and everything else because it doesn't make sense in, in the normal world. But thank you so much for everything that you have done in your life to bring this into reality. And uh, all of us, we're going to be together in another level of existence very soon, and at which point we'll, we will meet in another way. So thank you from my heart to your heart. Thank you for your lives, and thank you for everything that you've done in your lives.